What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you why YouTube is a gold mine and why you should be getting on YouTube right now today okay so before we actually talk about that um, definitely subscribe hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video um, and definitely check out my Instagram at Jelani the marketer and check out my blog blog.jelanithemarketer.com uh, posted some really cool uh, new content pieces of content on both of those platforms so definitely go check me out uh, let me know that you came from YouTube and I'll give you a follow back on Instagram and leave a comment on the blog for that you came from YouTube so I can interact with you there but YouTube let's talk about YouTube okay um, YouTube is such a gold mine that most people don't even know how much money they're missing out just by not being on the platform. Now let me explain why I believe this is something that you need to be getting on and getting into right here, right today, right now, okay? Let's take the example of compound interest, okay? And I'm gonna explain to you what digital real estate is. And this is something that I've talked about in, in previous videos, but nothing too elaborate, so I wanna kinda of break it down. So let's talk about compound interest, okay? So let's actually go to Google. So compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal sum of a loan or deposit or in other words, interest or interest. It is the result of reinvesting interest rather than paying it out, so the interest in the next period is earned on the principal sum plus the previous, previously accumulated interest. So basically, if you start with $2, it's gonna to accumulate to four, then that's gonna to accumulate to eight, that's gonna to accumulate to 16, that's gonna to accumulate to 32, so forth and so on, and you just start to kind of compound, right? It just starts getting more and more, uh, if you think about money, right, you're gonna get more and more money as the years go on. Now, how does that relate to YouTube? It relates to YouTube because YouTube does not delete your videos, right? It's content that people are going out there and searching, actively searching, is the second largest search engine in the entire world, in the entire internet atmosphere. It's the second largest search engine, meaning that people are going on there actively to be entertained, to get some type of in, uh, education, to learn something new about a, a particular topic, and they are looking for our videos that we're putting out there. If we have a, a, if we're making a video about a certain topic, they're gonna go out there, they're gonna go find it, and they're gonna watch it. If we give them value, they're gonna start to follow us, right? And that's how it works. They go out there, they actively find the video, they watch it, boom, right? And that's amazing because that means that we don't have to really do much. Whereas, for example, if you go on Facebook, um, you have to continue to uh, put push content, right? Every single day, new content, new content, new content. Otherwise, people are not going to see you. The algorithm loses track of you, and boom, you're lost, right? You're, you're, no one's going to remember you. But YouTube, you can have a video from 12 years ago, literally 12 years ago, and people are still watching it, still learning it, still observing what you are saying in that video, um, and therefore providing value. So when you have a lot of videos, right, you have uh, hundreds of videos, it's going to keep compounding. Each day, you're going to get more and more videos because you have more videos and more topics out there for people to find. Now, that relates to compound interest because... As you have more videos, the views just compound, right? They just keep going, keep going, keep going, right? And the more content you put out there, you're, the more people are going to see you, the more people are actively searching for the particular co topics that we're talking about, and they're going to click on our videos. Now, why is that such a huge, huge advantage uh, to us, right? That's a huge advantage because a lot of people are scared to be on camera, number one, okay? So we have an edge on other people out there that will never get on YouTube because they are afraid, they're, they don't like the way they sound, they don't, like, they don't like the way they look, right? These are just fears that are stopping them from noticing how much of a goldmine this is. Compound interest, right? Compound interest, digital real estate. We're putting digital real estate out there that includes affiliate links, right? And that's why YouTube is so powerful because it gives us the power to not only say what we want to say on our YouTube videos, right? We have complete control. It's our show, essentially. We are the directors. We are the stars. We are the producers of our own show. And in that show, on our channels, we can say whatever we want and we can promote whatever we want. Now, that's really powerful because as you have more and more digital real estate on YouTube, you're going to have more affiliate links. You're going to have more types of content. Maybe you're directing people to your Instagram. Maybe you're directing people to your blog, right? You're just going to have more pieces of um, clickable links inside of your, your descriptions. Maybe even on, you're telling people, hey, go check out my Instagram, right? Like in the beginning of this video, I said, hey, go follow me on my Instagram. Go uh, check out my blog, right? And I say that every single video, okay? I can say that every single video. And, and after a while, people are like, Oh, let me go check out his blog. Let me go check out his Instagram, right? And I, I can gain a following that way. That's why I say that in the beginning of my videos is I say, hey, uh, it's Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com. That's really important. It's Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com. Subconsciously, they're like, oh, he has a website. Let me go check out his website, right? And then I say, 
Oh, uh, follow me on Instagram. Oh, he has an Instagram? Let me go check out his Instagram, right? And I can do this over and over and over again and have my digital real estate uh, just keep going up, right? So not only am I getting people to go off of YouTube to find me in other places if I give them value in my video, which I always do, but I'm also uh, putting links in the description and saying, hey, if you like this thing, click the link down below, right? I have videos where I'm talking about, hey, if you want to read the dot-com secrets book, this book's amazing, which it really is, so <laughs> uh, maybe I should put a link, but... You know, I say, hey, go, go click the link down below and you can get a, a free copy, right? And people subconsciously, they like to be directed. They like to be told what to do. So when you're telling someone, to, hey, go check out my blog. Hey, go check out my Instagram. Hey, click the link down below uh, so you can get your free copy, right? They are going to do that subconsciously they, in their mind. They're like, all right, let me do this because this person is telling me and they're giving me value. So they're an authority figure and I need to do this because they're saying, all right, these are all the things that are going on. And, and when you do that over and over and over again uh, with different topics and different uh, types of content, you start to get more and more of a, a presence about you and you get to um, you get to reap the rewards because people are going to be clicking on your affiliate links. People are going to be going and uh, looking out. Uh, for your blogs, for your Instagram, whatever link you're you're promoting them to or sending them to, right? And we don't have to do anything because people are finding us. We might promote the video once or twice when we first release it, but after that, we just kind of let it ride um, inside of YouTube. And people put particular search terms, which is why we, you know, make sure our descriptions have descriptors inside of them and tags and all that good stuff, so people can find us. But we just let the search engine. Do its work right we just let youtube do its thing and we reap the rewards all we have to do is keep pushing content and this is why i love youtube because all i have to do is film a video and let the video ride i can i don't have to worry about that i know that people are going to go find that and if they don't find it um it's just going to be something that is a part of my repertoire a part of my show catalog right um, which gives me a more authoritative figure when it comes to speaking and people say oh this person has a lot of videos they can go to my channel and see oh this person has a lot of videos let me go click on this let me click on that and then in that video i, I have descriptors that saying you know click the link or go to my blog go to this go to that right and it's just digital real estate that is why YouTube is a freaking goldmine and you need to be utilizing this platform because it is so, so powerful. Um, and if you don't have a YouTube channel, you are missing out. You are missing out because video is going to be the way. It's going to be the probably the only way that you're going to see advertisers use video and not even or advertisers, but just people who are influencers. They're going to be using video more and more rather than images because video is just better. It's a better way to get your word words out there. Um, without having to really think about that person is taking what you're saying. Like words, you can't really, uh, you can't show emotion, right? So videos, you can show emotion. You can kind of tell the person how you feel and you can get them to do what you want them to do rather than images. It can work, but it's not, it doesn't have the same effect. So start a YouTube channel. I actually have a YouTube for beginners course, totally free. I can uh, put the link down there below. You can click that link, check out my YouTube for beginners course. And then also um, I have a YouTube ads challenge. So if you want to learn YouTube ads, click the link down below as well so that you can uh, get on in on that challenge. You can learn about YouTube ads. You can learn about YouTube for beginners because like I said, I'm going all in on these platforms um, because it's so powerful. It's been giving me a voice. It's been helping me uh, form connections with people all around the world. I was just at Fun and Healthy Live, and I cannot tell you how many people came up to me and said, hey, Jelani, your video really, really helped me. I, you know, I didn't know how to do this, but it really it showed me how to do this, and I'm so grateful. Like, it was mind-blowing, right? And just because the power of YouTube being the largest, uh, the second largest search engine on the internet, just people finding me rather than me, me finding people, I'm able to kind of put an influence in the world, right? And I, I really don't have to do that much besides record and, and talk to my camera. It's so awesome. Um, so definitely check out the YouTube for Beginners course. Check out my YouTube ads challenge. If you want to know how to run ads on YouTube, uh, it's, it's really cool and interesting. So click that link if you want to join me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join YouTube. Get a channel. It doesn't matter if, if you suck at talking. Just start. It doesn't matter. Just start. Just start. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Uh, leave your comments down below. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know as well so I can kind of, uh, you know, talk to you about those. Um, and check out my Instagram. Check out my blog, like I said. Uh, and thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video.